Mr. Chair. Um, Chair Gensler, I was looking, it was like from 2010 to 2019, companies spent, what, $6.3 trillion um, uh, on stock buybacks. Is that a lot? Well, like compared to, I'm not in the industry, is that a lot for compared? Where I come from in Baltimore, when you're talking trillions, it's always yeah. a lot. But uh, over 10 years. My, my staff made sure to say that's with a capital like T. Yeah, yeah. But over, over you know, 10 years, I think you said $600 billion a year, mm -hmm. given that we have a $50 trillion equity stock market. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's, it, the numbers sound about right. Mm -hmm. Is it true that the average corporate executive receives a larger share of their compensation and actually stock awards and stock options more than even their salary? I believe that to be correct. Yeah, I think it, one study showed that the average uh, executive receives nearly 27.3% of their total compensations in salary, but 4.3 in bonuses, but then 30.6% in stock reward, uh, awards and about 126 in options. Um, one of the things is about the lack of like transparency and how these some of these decisions are made, but to make some worse, like some investors um, in the public have been largely kind of in the dark about the specifics of stock buybacks uh, and the reasons be the companies and how they engage in them. Given all this, I was really pleased to see uh, last year that the SEC finalized an important rule bringing much needed disclosures, as you know, and transparency to very, very, again, uh, you know, very murky uh, practice of stock buybacks. We know, unfortunately, the Fifth uh, Circuit struck it down. So, Chair, do you have any um, commitment that you can share of, of whether or not you're going to be reproposing the stock buyback rule? Um, I thought it was an important rule and yeah. voted for its adoption. The Fifth Circuit saw it differently. Uh, we took it back to reconsider. It's still on our unified agenda as part of our agenda. We'd have to we'd have to re we'd have to propose a new. Do you role. have a timeline? Uh, I don't have a timeline for you. Like in a year? Or? Oh well, um, I I I would hope. Uh, again, elections have consequences. So um, I know. But um, uh, if if I'm here and so forth, I think this is an important role. I think it's important to have greater transparency mm -hmm. and that, uh, where we had adopted was once a quarter the companies would provide greater transparency on the shares they bought in the prior quarter. Is this a true statement that not all buy buybacks are legal? Stock, like stock buybacks can't be used to evade security laws for instance. Um, I can think of hypotheticals where you could try to do a stock buyback that evaded securities laws, yeah. but I would what, hope that everybody does them legally. They won't unless you force them, Chair. Come on. So if anything, is the SEC doing anything to ensure public companies' stock buybacks uh, practices are not violating current law? Uh, we have a, we're a cop on the beat. It's part of what we do. We have robust enforcement. Uh, if you, any of your constituents or anybody has information or belief of somebody's doing buybacks that are illegal, uh, bring it to our attention. So, Chair, you know this, the, my favorite section of Dodd-Frank lately has been Section 956. Um, and it's been about, what, 13 years, um, and we're still waiting for regulators to finalize um, this rule, preventing compensation packages that encourage excessive risk taking. And you know, it impacts our small businesses recently and others when we, again, don't move forward on what the legislative intent is. And so several regulators recently proposed a June, two, six, I think it was 2016 version of the rule, but not all the agencies joined, um, as you probably know. At its discretion, SEC um, sometimes performs an economic analysis or cost-benefit analysis for pro So um, oh, this is to Commissioner um, Lazarol, is that what say? Yeah, say it for me, please. Lazarga. Lazari. Do you all, do you need all other regulators on board before conducting such an analysis? We, so basically this is one thing that SEC, maybe Chair, can, can help you, can perform what they call um, economic analysis on certain rules and cost benefit. We, that is a function performed by our Division of Economic and Risk Analysis, uh, the staff of the commission. Uh, 
uh, as part of really a quickly, chair, because we're and it, we would we would need to do an economic analysis, yeah. and we would put it out to public comment uh, in this joint role. But do you gentlemen, need all the companies? Gentlemen, ladies, time's expired. I will now recognize the gentleman from.